80% of people around the world know that sugar is made from sugar cane. But how many realize that this sweet white crystal was once the cause of entire empires collapsing? To this day, the story of sugar has entered a new modern chapter, with sugarcane cultivation becoming a series of precise technological processes. Right now, let's explore how those sweet crystals are created, not just through the sweat of the fields, but also through the wonders of modern agricultural technology, yielding not only sugar, but also eco-friendly products from what once seemed like waste. The young plants are transferred to pots in a greenhouse, where they are carefully nurtured for two to three months under strictly controlled light, temperature, and humidity conditions. Once the plants are mature, each sugarcane variety is grown separately in test plots. Varieties showing strong growth and minimal pest damage are selected for large-scale propagation. Water plays a crucial, life-sustaining role in sugarcane cultivation, especially during the early post-planting stage and throughout stalk and leaf development. Over the course of the growing season, sugarcane requires a total water supply of 1,200 to 2,200 millimeters. And no, you're not seeing things. Once sugarcane reaches maturity and enters the harvest stage, farmers deliberately set the fields ablaze to burn off dry leaves, weeds, and drive away insects. This process exposes the cane stalks, making them easier to harvest and reducing the weight transported to the mill.
The cane is chopped into smaller pieces by a chopper machine, then fed into a crushing system consisting of three to five large steel rollers. Under high pressure, the juice is extracted from the cane, while the leftover bagasse is separated and sent to a different processing area. And what it's used for? Let's save that for a later stage. The crystals are then cooled and sent to the packaging stage in various sizes, including large 50 kilogram sacks. These bulk orders are the main source of profit for sugar processing plants, thanks to their large scale, consistent demand, and low distribution costs. Amid the growing crisis of global plastic pollution, repurposing bagasse to produce plastic alternatives not only reduces waste, but also contributes to environmental protection. To explore how these factories work and see the production up close, watch our next videos here. Once considered an ecological disaster, rabbits have now become a stable source of income for modern agriculture. Introduced to Australia in the 18th century, they multiplied at an astonishing rate within just a few decades, destroying crops and natural ecosystems. However, their rapid reproduction has enabled a sustainable farming model that produces 10,000 to 50,000 commercial rabbits annually to meet global demand for clean, high-quality food. So now, let's join Noel Farm on a journey to explore these modern rabbit farms. Breeding rabbits at the farm are reproduced through two methods, natural mating and artificial insemination. 
In the latter, the male sperm is strictly quality checked before being introduced into the female using laboratory techniques, ensuring a high mating success rate and maintaining a stable, high-quality breeding stock. From the second month onward, rabbits enter the maturation stage and are fed a nutrient-rich compound feed, supplemented by a continuous supply of clean water through an automatic drinking system. In parallel, fresh fruits and vegetables are periodically added to their diet to provide natural vitamins, support digestion, and keep the rabbits healthy and growing quickly. The feeding stage lasts from the second to the fourth month before the rabbits reach the target weight for market release. When they reach between 2.2 to 2.5 kilograms around the fourth month, the rabbits are considered fully mature and ready for harvest. Here, the entire process is carried out on a closed-loop production line, from deferring to the separation of internal organs. Among the internal organs, the kidneys, rich in nutrients, are separated for special handling according to specific requirements. Each package is clearly labeled with batch information, production date, and expiration date before being placed in cold storage or delivered to distribution channels. By aligning with modern consumption trends, rabbit meat, a clean, low-fat, high-protein food, 
is becoming increasingly popular in the market due to its high nutritional value and suitability for various healthy diets. This dish not only showcases culinary finesse in its preparation, but also highlights the rich potential of rabbit meat, a clean, nutrient-dense ingredient that is increasingly favored in modern kitchens. If you want to witness the fascinating intricacies of these production lines and delve deeper how these factories work, then you can watch our next videos here.